Hey guys, my name is Joe, and I'm a recent college grad spending eight months in Austria teaching English. While I'm here, I plan to take in as much of Europe as possible, and I hope you'll join me. My first stop will be the town where I live, Feldkirchen in Kirchen. Feldkirchen in Kärnten is a town in Carinthia with approximately 14,300 residents. It is a county town, otherwise known as a Bezirkshauptstadt, and thus the administrative, economic, and cultural focus of the region. One of the most important sites of all of Feldkirchen has got to be the Bamberger Amtoff standing right behind me. This place was not just the administrative center of the town, but for the entire region, dating back all the way to the Middle Ages. Uh, during the 15th century, when there was the threat of a Turkish invasion, the Amtoff was used as kind of a tower um, in which some of the citizens of the town ended up entrenching themselves inside. In 1993, the Amtoff was remodeled. Some of the architects in charge thought that maybe some of the structures dated back almost 300 years. Today, this building stands behind me just as beautiful as ever and serves as a cultural and event venue for Feldkirchen. Most of the other sites in Feldkirchen are sacral, such as the Church of St. Michael, which stands in the southern part of town. St. Michael was first mentioned in 1387, and in 1537 unfortunately fell victim to a fire, but has since been restored. Alright guys, now we're going to head over to the Maria in Dorn. This is one of the most sacred sites in all of Feldkirchen. The parish was built originally in 1065 or 1066 and was owned by the family of Eppensteiner. Uh, it still stands today. It's a beautiful sight to see, the base of which was built also in the 10 hundreds. One of the most beautiful sites in all of Feldkirchen is the Hauptplatz, otherwise known as the Market Square, which includes the Rauthaus and this beautiful fountain. The next day, I headed to the hills to try to discover one of southern Austria's most elusive historical fortifications. I even made a friend along the way. Okay guys, so today we're heading up to the hills and we're looking for a place called the Dietrichstein Castle. The Dietrichstein family is an Austrian and Bohemian family dating all the way back to the first century AD. In fact, this castle happened to be built in I think 1105 and was an incredibly important fortress for the area because it overlooks an important trade route that connects Feldkirchen with another nearby town, Sanktveit on the Glan. In the 14th century, this place was incredibly key to overlooking the invasions of the Turkish army and was occupied by Hungarians. Yeah. 
After this occupation by the Hungarian forces led by King Matthias Cornelius, the castle was finally destroyed by Ottoman invaders in 1483. However, a new castle was erected below the ruins in about 1500 and rebuilt in a neoclassical style in 1840. That concluded my introduction, not only to Austria, but to Europe as well. I hope you'll join me on my next adventure. Stay tuned.